What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. With Riot consistently trying to remove unhealthy concepts from the game, it's time we take a look at unhealthy champions, and what makes them have that word attached to them. Let's get started. Now the key thing to understand is that just because a champion is unhealthy, does not mean that they are overpowered. Far from it in fact, Riot actually has a huge history of nerfing unhealthy champions, rather than just fixing what actually makes them unhealthy. However, they are definitely improving on it recently, but just because a champion isn't strong does not mean they aren't unhealthy. One of the best examples of this is Poppy. She's widely considered to be a fairly average champion, who might be playable in some situations, but by all means is far from overpowered. However, she is considered to have one of the unhealthiest kits in the game. But what makes her, and others like her, unhealthy? Well, the best definition of an unhealthy champion I could come up with is a champion that is really difficult or essentially impossible to balance based on numbers alone. Unhealthy champions are either overpowered or underpowered at the competitive level, there's really nothing in between for them. And because of this and because of the way Riot has been nerfing them, they often just end up being underpowered until they undergo some more significant changes and reworks to their kit. And what causes this is when the strengths of a champion's kit has little to no counterplay. The most recent example of this would be Vagar. His old stun that had no delay had a reasonably high range, so if you hit it perfectly it was an instant instant stun and that stun lasted long enough for a free one shot burst that was essentially impossible to outplay without some assistance from another source. He was definitely underpowered at the competitive level but was nerfed anyways to make his kit much more healthy. It's things like that that cause a champion to be considered unhealthy. Counterplay is a really important part of balance and so when the strengths of a champion's kit do not have any counterplay it becomes really unhealthy for the game and very very unfun to play against, especially when you're losing. And recently, this is why Riot has been nerfing a lot of champions that were already somewhat weak. Vagar is definitely the most recent example, but I'm sure you'll remember what happened to Cassidin, as well as LeBlanc and Talon with the removal of their silence, just to name a few examples. It's changes like that that focus on promoting healthy gameplay rather than actually trying to balance the champion. And at the same time, just because a champion is overpowered does not mean that they're unhealthy. There's different kinds of simply just not having counterplay. When a champion's strengths have no counterplay, that definitely creates unhealthy gameplay. But when a champion's weaknesses lack counterplay, and that they lack weaknesses in general, that isn't necessarily unhealthy, just that the champion needs to be tuned down a bit. And so you have to think, how can a champion be strong while still having a reasonably healthy kit? If a champion's counterplay is solely in their strengths, it's often possible to just completely outplay that champion. And so I think all in all, what it takes for a champion to be strong, but still have healthy gameplay, is that their counterplay needs to be split among their strengths and weaknesses, and potentially leaning towards the weaknesses too. This way the counterplay can be a little bit smaller, but still somewhat relevant while having very solid strengths in that champion's kit. They can have more counterplay in their kits, since both their strengths and weaknesses will have counterplay and can be outplayed in some way, but since the counterplay is split between the two, you can actually get away with making it reasonably less significant. And so you're left with a champion that has healthy gameplay and is quite strong. Anyways, that just about wraps it up. Those were just my thoughts. My name is Jeremy, and that's it for my video on unhealthy champion design. Hey guys, it's me Jeremy. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit that like button so I can tell, and if you're interested, definitely check me out over on all the socials, of which you can see over there. And if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future, and definitely check out some of my other videos as well, up here and over there. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thanks again for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.